Hello, Mark Crossfield here. Slightly croaky voice, unfortunately, but it's a lovely sunny morning. We're here at Credit and Golf Club. I'm here and James is on camera. James Diamond from the fitness world. Um, we're going to play a few holes. Um, we're going to do a bit of a course vlog. So we're going to show you a little bit about how I play some holes, how James plays some holes, and hopefully you'll get a little bit more of an understanding of um, some course management ideas and what we're thinking as we hit some shots. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so we're on the 11th here, par three, uphill, slightly blind shot. Um, what yardage did we have, James? It's 141. So 141 yards. I'm going to hit an eight iron. It's slightly uphill. Um, and there's a bit of a bank at the back of the green, I think, on this one as well. Yeah, two tier green. So I'm choosing my club. I mean, really, because I'm using these JPX 825s at the minute, I've just changed and going to demo these ones, um, try and get some extra power, right? Mm. Um, I, I want to hit a nine, but because of that uphill slope, I'm going to hit an eight. And it's only really one of our first holes of the morning as well. So uh, not really done our warm ups properly, James, have we? <laughs> right, okay, let's give it a go. It's hard, looking into that sun is hard, isn't it? Struck it quite nicely, middle green. Ooh, that looks quite good. I don't know if you saw that, it looks quite good. We'll get up there and have a look at how it goes. Let's see how James plays it. Right, James, what are you hitting? I got an eight as well. Eight iron for James. I'm not sure, because you can't quite see, I'm not sure how mine finished up there. It is hard to see. So we will see when we get up there what's going on. See if you can hit one inside James right. I've lost it looked like it went right right edge, of the green. right edge of the green there's a big slope up the right I mean the big thing I was thinking when we played this half if you look at it where are you try not to go James left. left definitely look at that yeah I went sent the green turned it slightly in there's big slope off on the left where there's actually bank kicking it in off the right. So let's get up there and see how they're doing. So James is just up the right here. You see yours truly. Yes, please. See how James gets some of his chip. Trying to hit the slope. It's a nice chip. Oh, very nice, James. Quite quick down that hill, isn't it? So if we just have a look at my one here. No, we don't want to see that. Let's have a look at this little bad boy. So we've got a nice missable short little putt. Pitch just on the slope up there. I don't know if you can see that pitch mark there, which I'm just about to recover. So I did have slightly too much club and it just came back down the slope. I knew the slope was there, but you know, I'll take the fortune with that as well. Right, let's see if we can jump practicing with this new method Nike drone putter today, the old uh, Star Trek special. Uh, let's see if we can knock it in for a two. Don't have to give the hole away. Oh, come on then, James, see if you can sneak it in for your par. I'm nervous now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it went to the right, or did you push that a bit? The right a bit. Yeah, it looked like it went to the right. Go on, give it one more go. That's a sneaky little bogey. That's a two-shot swing. Let's have a look. It dives straight right off the face. Yeah, this bit here goes right here, though. I think you started that right edge and then it went. I think you could hit it. Yeah, you started that left left side then. Okay, let's go on to the next. Okay, we got a bit of a funky far, par five going on here. This is the 12th. Um, the line, if I can just get this mic lead out of the way. The line is over these trees drawing. 
um, you're actually surprised how far left you can go because you go too far, you don't find it. So we're going to go, I've got a three wood. And lots of people will just knock up and then hit round. I presume it is the hole that goes around the corner today. Yeah, it is. Because there's two holes here they can play. So I'm going to try and get my uh, ball getting up quite quick over these trees and drawing to get it over the slope. So let's see how we do. So I'm literally just going to try and feel that I move my half of my club further right than my face. Face is going to be pointing at this tallest tree, path is going to be going at the right hand side of the trees, ball's going to curve left over the lower part of those trees in theory. Keep going, keep going. I reckon that'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah, it's good, he's gone further left. It'd be interesting if it's too far left. You, did, you kind of started it left going left. Let's see what they're like when we get down the other side. So James is just behind us here and I'm unfortunately stuck up on the hill. So James's pull hook has worked well on this one. I've got 150 off quite an amazing downhill slope. So I'm gonna hit a nine iron. And to be honest with you, I'm finding it hard to see this shot at all. So we're just gonna hit it and kind of hope to a certain extent. So it's a blind shot, I can't see. Massive downhill slope, 150, which is why I'm hitting a nine, because it's gonna be hitting this ball in lower. And I kind of just gotta hit it as close to those trees without going in them, really. Let's give it a go. Oh, I hit something. We'll get up there and see what happens. It was on a good line. I just don't think it made the carry over that first batch of trees, but we'll get up there and see. So here we go, James. How's it lying, James? Lying all right, bit of a bit, un bit down below your feet, but lying okay. Ball above and a down slope. slope. He's bigging it up now. Yeah. It's, a it's a tough one, he says. So, course, only as tough as you make it, James. What are you hitting? Well, I'm not really sure. I had a wedge, but I think it's too much of a wedge. Yeah, it's a little wedge. I mean, this is a par five because we've gone kind of off piece a little bit if you follow the tr lines it's because of this massive slope sandwich okay as you can see we can't see where we're going so let's get up there and see how do you feel you hit that James that pretty, good? It pretty good let's see what pretty good means all right guys James is on the green or just right of the green which is annoying I caught this little silver birch here and now I've got some kind of a impossible shot. Uh, I'm up in the bushes up here. I've got to keep it low. I've got to run it through the long grass off the slope. I mean, basically, I'm just going to try and move it anywhere down near the green as I can. The lie looks worse than it actually is. Bit of a dead twig there, so I'll have to move that. So I'm literally just going to chip it out, land it. I reckon if I land that just on the bottom of the green, I might get it stopping. But let's see what I can do. Like I say, is that one that one's dead as well, so I can move that. Let's see if I can actually get anything moving out of here. Sit, sit, sit. Oh, online over the back so i'm just off the green over there but actually not too far away so it's actually james to play first here so let's see how he can do with this long putt for an eagle
A little bit of work left in that one, but not too bad, James. Yeah, it did bobble a little bit, that one. So I got away with that. What I tried to do on that one is I tried to not hit down at all, and I almost felt like I hovered the club and just hit on the level of the grass so that I wasn't going to get it. I was scared of getting that too far up the face and it just not going anywhere. But because I got it near the bottom of the face, I actually moved it forwards and it rolled out a little bit better to not a bad result. Okay, I'll just tap mine in. Four in the end, the scramble. Four, five. Go on in, James. Tap it in for your par. How are you seeing it? But was it a birdie, was it? No, sorry, yeah, yours is for a birdie, yeah. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.